G. You've never brought me to this point before. I've never, ever. I've never brought you. Aaron told me I wasn't allowed to. But uh, it's really good to have you back. It's been a tough three years mm -hmm. without you boys here in Africa with us. And um, luckily you've brought some family along with us now, man. Yeah. Jason, welcome here, mate. Thank you. We'll give it our best go this week. From the valleys here, the plains, the mountains, and uh, hopefully get you guys onto some good animals. The guns behaved this morning at the range. Yep. And we should be good to go. Love it. We're going to try and make our way across these plains and onto any of our plain species. And up ahead, we've got a big group of wildebeest with some blessed bucking. It's not going to be easy getting close to them. These blessed buck use the plains and kind of the wide open spaces as a protection. And hopefully we can just bite off two, three hundred yards on them, but it's still going to be a pretty long shot. So we're going to see what Jason's made of on his first shot in Africa. Good shot, great shot, great shot, partner. Great shot. What a shot! I believe uh, you have uh, passed your first test, partner. <laughs> what a unbelievable shot! Thank you. I mean, great wind call, gentlemen. That is nice. Let's put the guns now. Yeah, he's an nice ram. Chips. That is a beauty. Well, Jason, your first African animal, a common blessed buck, and uh, this is a superb ram and, a, and, a, and, and one that many hunters traveling to Africa would start with. It's a, it's a good one to get into the salt pit, kind of get one off the bat, and uh, before one heads into the tougher stuff with the kudu and things like that, it's a good one to take, but you made a hell of a shot this afternoon and really very, very nice. First animal down. ridges and with a cold night we had now and winter just starting to set in it's actually going to be absolutely perfect we should see a lot of the bush species coming out Using a bit of this grass, okay? We get to this laundry from 
this thorn tree, we should have a good platform because there's some all the beasts closer, not only far there. Wait for, him wait. To, wait for him to turn his nose. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Thank you. Perfect. Good shot. Oh, Jay. Those guys might need to go on a diet. We should lift them up on the hill. But here's your black wildebeest. Man, I tell you, a hell of a shot. A good old bull, a wonderful shot. And yeah, thank you for doing your part and helping us oh. with the black wildebeest. Thank you. Chase yesterday to today, slightly different terrain. We're up in the high country. We've climbed the plateau into the Great Karoo, and we've come to visit one of my very good friends, Neil, here. And um, he's our, our man in the Karoo. For the last 20 years, he's been managing our areas up here. And uh, today, we're actually in a completely new area up here. We've never entered here before. All this is new to me. So you and I are about on the same footing here. Uh, so, we're going to work these hills and, and, and obviously look where we think the calves are going to be hanging out. Uh, obviously out of the wind in the quieter valleys, they're going to be lying up, they're going to be feeding in areas where it's just a little bit more sheltered. And We'll use that knowledge to our advantage and see if we can get you onto a nice calves. Good shot. That's called pressure shooting, pressure <laughs> setup. What a day. Is that him? Yeah, hold on, just watch. It's getting weak. Just just wait, I see his horns. So Jay, after this game spot got up, Garrett and I were able to circle back and we found some blood and man, it's a pretty solid trail. I mean there's it's enough pink blood. And up ahead, yeah, I'm gonna actually show you. There's a um, like a bit of lung blood you can see, which is good. I mean, this. Can you tell the difference? Well, I think if you look at that, it's quite foamy and pink in colour. Okay. You understand? That's quite foamy and pink in colour. So it's a nice bright pink colour, and I think that should be something in the lungs. I don't know where you hit it like that. Obviously, it dropped. It looks spinal. Perfect frontal chest shot. But yes, these things got adrenaline and they go, you know. But let's follow this trail and, you know, sooner or later, we got to find it if we keep following the blood. If you've got a shot there, over the top in line with it. Okay, go. Good shot. 
he'll die with that shot. Well, mate, that's a good recovery. <laughs> it's been a long, long day. We've been on the trail for the last four hours, eh? Yeah. Well, Jet, this was a, um, a long game spacan. Jay to um, G told me halfway up the mountain that uh, Jason wasn't expecting a game spacan hunt like this because he maybe hadn't prepared you. <laughs> well, he hadn't prepared me either. <laughs> so, what might not have started well, sure ended well. And um, Jason, this is a, a game spac of really, really fantastic quality. Not only heavy in the base, he's got unbelievable length. If I lifted him, one actually gets a better understanding for the quality he is. I mean, at first, when we first saw it, you could have been mistaken that it was a cow. And uh, I mean, Garrett, you've seen a few of these. It's, it's a really, really special game spot. Well, we are in one of my, probably one of my favorite places to hunt in South Africa. If you've ever hunted central Utah or northern Wyoming, these big, big mountains behind me. You just don't think of these mountains when you think of South Africa. Hunted this place with Carl probably three or four times now. Uh, up here with good friend Neil. Um, got my brother-in-law along with me on this hunt. And we're gonna chase a mountain species. Some of the mountain hunts are the, are the some of the funnest hunts we've, we've done with Carl down here. So today's zebra, Cape Mountain zebra. I've shot a few of the virtual zebra before, but we're in some pretty steep country today. Uh, very excited about that. We'll chase uh, volleys, we'll chase kudu, we'll chase eland over the next couple days, but we're starting the mountain hunting this week up here in probably one of the most beautiful places in South Africa you've ever been. Top right, two minutes of wind, squeeze it off when you're ready. Perfect. Perfect. Oh. And down. Good wind call. Oh. Something I could do right today. <laughs> well done. Nila, thank, thank you. you, my friend. You know, the first time I chased zebra was in 2012, I think, with uh, Craig. First trip over here with Carl. We chased virtual zebra at the time. This animal's pretty unique. It carries its stripes all the way down to the hoof. Beautiful stripes. There's, there's no shadow stripe. There's real defined lines on here. It's a, it's a smallest zebra of, of all the zebras that we've chased over here. Beautiful brown muzzle, very pronounced stripes. Mm. Awesome animal to chase up in these mountains. You would not believe we feel like we're hunting a, a sheep or an awdad or something like that we would chase back home and you're chasing this awesome looking uh, the zebra. Beautiful. All right, I'm very excited this morning. With the wind laid down, there is no wind, which doesn't really happen up in these parts. And we're in an area that I've never been chasing ball rebuck. Carl calls them 
volley. I've hunted this animal with Aaron a couple times, been behind the camera, never hunted it for myself. Uh, got a good group of guys with us chasing an awesome animal, one of these mountain species that that I think are very underrated. When we think South Africa, we think Plains game, we think Gemsbuck, we think the wildebeest, the impala. But these mountain species in South Africa are a lot of fun to hunt. They're very challenging and we're out here this morning trying to trying to get one put in the salt. So we're excited. Yeah. Just wait for him to turn his head to the right. Okay, there you go. Squeeze it off. Perfect. Perfect. God, <laughs> you mad, brother? Oh. It's been a long time in oh, the planning, man. my man. These mountain species are too fun, man. It's awesome. I tell you, you know, we we up here in the Stormberg Mountains and we're on a big plateau here, G. The wind's picked up since we started this morning and it's always a challenge in the mountains, Ooh. you know. Just just seeing this wind gusting through, it became more and more difficult, you know. And even with that shot, you could see there was more wind drift than we thought, eh? Yeah. It's these proper, dude. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, so nice, Gee. Ah, old as the hills. Hey, look at that secondary growth that he's crimped right onto the skull cap. Absolutely spectacular. Mm. Mm. Well, it's been a long time coming waiting for a, a kudu hunt like this. It's been three years since Carl and I have chased kudu together. Um, we have a short window this trip. We put it off to the end and there's a storm coming our last day and a half. So we've got about two days, maybe a day and a half, depending on how quick the storm gets here to find a couple big bulls. It's awesome being up here behind the glass. You have to be patient. This is an animal that can turn up quick and two or three days later you're still looking so we're gonna burn up the glass today and hopefully beat the storm
446. Good shot, good shot, good shot. Wonderful shot, G, brilliant. Down, right through the front of the shoulders. Give me that, Cheers, brother. Mate. Oh. That's what we love doing, eh? It never gets old chasing. It never gets old. 10 years later, we're still chasing Kudu. I love, I love how you can just see that. Yeah, yeah. Check this out, guys. G? <laughs> oh, word, dude. Yeah. It's as if he, this is where he came out. Yeah. Yep. And this is where he came to rest. And look Ooh. at the age oh. on that guy. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that what you, huh? that's what, what you, you hope for, for eh? Um, thick worn tips like that, the big neck from the right. Perfect shot and another East Cape Kuru, I know. It's not our first and it's not our last. Every year we have these. It gets more exciting every time you do it. Yeah. I'm not kidding. Yeah. Last afternoon, we're running out of light. The rain has come in again. The prediction was clear. We found the Elam bull laying down. We're at about 1,200 yards now, and we've got to try and close the gap. So let's see what we can do in two hours. behind the shoulder your partner when you're one minute, one minute yeah when you're ready okay bit more wind than expected he's going up let's follow him you can take him. Good shot. Good shot. Let's watch him there. That was a good shot. When he comes out, take him again. Wait, wait. Nearly. Nearly, nearly. He's down. <laughs> Dude. Talk about 99, right? We've had some <laughs> long ones. Africa, man. Last night. That's ah, fleshy. Get some boy. There we go. Ah. Our last afternoon Elon, my mate. He is just spectacular, eh? Mop on him. He's obviously, the rut's done for Elon. They rut much earlier. 
um, but you can still see bunch of mud in his horns. He's got that slight tip out. Yeah. But gee, you know the nice thing about this, it's all blue. This neck, he's got this oily blue color on the neck there. And I mean, this is a, a brute, a piece of meat, eh? <laughs> Beautiful mop on him. It's what you want. You want to see that, you know, age 10 years plus. Um, some good shooting this week. Very good shooting. We had a lot of fun. We got ourselves a good kudu and a beautiful eland, and I look forward to doing it again, my man. Absolutely. Cheers, mate.